Welcome to Start Talk. I'm your host, Sarah Imrie, and marketing coordinator for Start.ca. I'm so excited for today's episode and excited to welcome Pete Rocca back in the Start Talk chair. He is our CEO and resident internet and now almost TV ex <laughs> expert as well. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks. I'm looking forward to today's show. We are going to be answering some of the most popular questions you've been asking. You have heard, we have heard your questions on our social media channels, and we're gonna try and answer as many of those as possible today for you. So let's get started. All right. All right, well, I was watching TV this morning, and I know my kid takes over the TV half the time, and he just wants to watch the same episode over and over again. Is he gonna be able to do that? Is there a PVR option? Yeah, absolutely. So our PVR option is actually a network PVR option, um, which has the added benefit of if you record the show on one device, you're able to watch it on others. So um, yeah, absolutely. Nice and easy. So what are we going to be able to watch? What channels and stations are going to be available and what packages is Start going to provide? Um, so I'll start with the packages. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, three three packages. Uh, we try to keep things really simple to start mm -hmm. with. Um, so we have a mandated package, uh, which the CRTC calls a skinny, okay. um, but we're going to call our light. And that has, you know, your local TV stations, uh, the Weather Network, uh, Ontario legislation channel uh, in that one. And then we have uh, the next plan up, which is the plan that's really suited for about 90% of people. So um, it's called the premium. And it has uh, pretty much every channel that you can think of. Like most people will be, 90% of people will be happy with just uh, the premium. Um, but for those that, um, so that has, you know, a good selection of, it's got your Sportsnet and TSN, it's got a bunch of kids shows, it's got the locals, it's got some news, it's got, um, uh, a bunch of lifestyle channels, you know, again, you know, the most popular channels that people are watching. Um, and then we've got some theme packages, uh, about eight of them that are available, I, I think. And so they're kind of like if you want to add on some additional sports, so, you know, the fishing network, or if you want to add more kids channels or uh, more international news or a bunch of other um, theme packs based around more movies, etc., cetera, um, you can add those. Uh, and then we have our ultimate package, and the ultimate package is essentially a collection of almost, you know, the, that premium plus almost all the themes. And so you're looking at almost all the channels that we have, wow. um, a lot of channels. So yeah. um, you really have some options to, to customize. Uh, and of course, there's also a, a la carte, uh, which means that you can add an individual channel. So say you wanted to take that mid-level channel, um, but add, you know... Uh, something that's not in that mental yeah. channel, uh, you could do that just by simply adding on or even take that light package and you know if you wanted to add on an AMC or something like that to it, that's uh, certainly something you can do. Well, what I'm hearing is going to be very customizable mm -hmm. and competitive in the market, very, which is yes. exactly what our customers have been wanting to hear. So thank you for, for clearing that up. Right. But the most important question, when are we going yeah. to be able to sign up? <laughs> um, we are so close, we really are. Um, we um, will definitely be launching this fall, so uh, we're right around the corner. Uh, just not quite sh uh, ready to share the date yet. We just need to make sure a couple items are buttoned up, uh, that our set-top boxes are here, and we're able to actually get them out the door. Um, but we're really, really close in launching this fall. What is it going to look like? Is it going to be easy to to use? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, uh, that's obviously really important to us. And, uh, yeah, the interface is beautiful. Uh, maybe we can... Uh, do a little bit of a demo. Let's show everyone what it's going right. to look like. So we'll do a little run through and see what it looks like. S uh, sit tight. We'll get that all set up for you. All right. All right. We have the TV all set up, ready to demo Start TV. Pete, show me how easy it's going to be to use Start TV at home. Absolutely. Yeah. We're really, really excited about this interface. Um, you know, we had that bit of a reboot uh, last year. We were hoping to launch this product and um, you know, unfortunately, you just weren't happy with, with the interface. So took it back, retooled it, uh, completely, um, you know, uh, changed out that product and really, really happy with the results. So uh, we'll do a quick demo here and, and let's see how it goes. So uh, this is the main um, home screen. And here you've got uh, access to all the things that are normally important. There's just usually a recordings uh, option there. So I think the, the people in the lab might be working uh, on it as well. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to show all the recording functionality. That just shows us how much we're continually working and trying That's to right. get it ready for lunch. We are really, really close. Um, 
So um, well, um, we talk about here the, the U, so this is your, your recommendations. So one of the really cool things about this system is that uh, based on what you're watching, it's able to kind of make recommendations to you. So if you're trying to figure out what you want to watch and don't want to scroll through a bunch of things, it, you can you can hop uh, over to your recommendations and um, it'll tell you um, uh, things that are on that might be of interest to you. And what's really cool is it's really simple to create a profile. So you can create a profile for yourself or for your partner, your kids, um, and everybody has their own unique profile. And what's really cool is that if you've got multiple people uh, watching the television at the same time, as you can log in, you know, two or three or four profiles, and it'll actually merge all of the interests of all those people to make a recommendation that hopefully everyone uh, would be excited about. So I'm not going to fight over what show we're all going to watch together. We we can make a selection based on what they think we should. I, I hope so. so. Save that fight for later. That's right. <laughs> um, but let's let's uh, let's jump into live TV, and um, you know, so from from here. Uh, there's a, a really simple, uh, it's called the quick guide. Uh, so very responsive, um, you know, and you can move around quickly. Uh, we'll hop up to the to the view here and, um, and you know, uh, it's pretty responsive in terms of the navigation. And then we've got, uh, you know, you can also access it um, by number. So I'm going to jump to, I know Sportsnet is uh, 401 here. I can access Sportsnet just by uh, entering the numbers and again, uh, really responsive. But if the quick guide's not for you or you kind of want to see what else is going on in the future, um, you kind of just arrow over to the right and the, the guide expands. You know, you can move around. Uh, we'll navigate up to, um, I don't know, a kid's show here. Let's go. Uh, Treehouse is usually what's on my house. Final. There we go. We got Ranger Bob and Rusty Rivets. Um, ah. <laughs> my daughter's uh, out of the Rusty Rivets uh, phase, uh, thankfully. That's quite riveting. Excellent. <laughs> Sure if you do is. want to watch it, you'll be able to uh, record it as well and save it for later. Absolutely. So let's we'll, we'll click on that quick here, and um, here's uh, all kinds of upcoming episodes. Um, normally there is a, a recording button that's sitting right there, but you would just quickly uh, navigate to it, uh, click on the record button, and it'll show you all of the options. So if you'd be able to record, you know, that series or whether or not you just want to record that specific episode. Um, so really simple to kind of move around and uh, the user interface is really, really uh, intuitive and you can just kind of pick it up and start using it. Excellent. So what do I need to make this work at home? What what equipment do I need? Uh, you need one of these. So these are uh, receivers called set-top box. Um, so this is, you know, you might have, you know, a receiver at home that's, you know, taking up a whole shelf on your uh, AV cabinet. Uh, don't let the size fool you. It's super, super powerful. I'll just move this out of the way here. Um, super, super powerful. And uh, we touched on it on a previous episode uh, that, you know, not only does it have infrared, uh, but it also has Bluetooth capability. So you can take this receiver, stick it behind your TV. You don't see any of the cables or anything. Wow. Put it up on the fireplace mantle. Uh, you have to find something else to put on that shelf, maybe some candles or something. I'm sure there's something that we can replace it with right. easily. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really powerful box, um, and and uh, yet for its size, it's super super small and and uh, discreet. No, do I just can I just use it with the TV, or are there other ways that I can access the Start TV while we're at home? No, absolutely. So in home, um, the the same interface. This is what we really really love about this product is the same interface is available on your laptop and in your mobile, uh, even on your on your cell phone, on in-home Wi-Fi. Um, so again, super intuitive to use on your phone, and uh, you know it looks remarkably similar to what we're looking at on this main screen. Don't, uh, easy learning curve. You don't have to learn something new. Absolutely, yeah. Excellent. Now, with this box, I mean, we have Start TV. Are there other apps we can download? It is similar to other um, type of boxes like this. Can we? Can yeah. I get YouTube? Yeah. What for else sure. can I have? Um, so you know, I'll just hop on uh, uh, quickly. Access the um, the the apps section here, um, and you can see that we've got the Google Play Store uh, there. We've already have YouTube installed. Uh, but this is, you know, where you can install uh, other apps. Um, and even if you're an Apple user, um, you can, you know, Google uh, account is free. You can uh, get a free account and install apps on this device as well. So I will hop on uh, YouTube quick here and, um, oh, look, we have a video. I know those guys. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, really simple to, to navigate around, um, you know, quickly jump back to your TV, um, you know, uh, and, you know, there we are and uh, back we were. So anyone can use it as long as you're a, a Start Internet uh, customer. This is this looks fantastic. What a great look 
into what we've been building. Thank you so much for uh, providing the demo today. Happy to show it off a little bit. Excellent. Well, stay tuned. And all of our followers here on uh, Start Talk will know that we'll have some more information coming up soon in our next episode. So make sure to follow along on all of our social channels to make sure you have the most up-to-date information on the launch of Start TV and all the great information we have with uh, Start.ca Start as well. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you.